everyone's heard of the butterfly effect. It's where if a butterfly flaps its wings at one place, it causes a hurricane in another. But how can something this shiny cause a hurricane in... Firstly, we need to understand two kinds of systems. Linear, predictable and deterministic systems and chaotic, dynamic and unpredictable systems. An easy example of a very predictable system would be a simple pendulum. A pendulum is a simple 2D system whose path doesn't depend on factors such as the suspended weight, the length of the string or the suspension height. The important thing that remains constant in many pendulums is the fact that it has a simple path of a 2D circle's arc. So now let's have a look at the double pendulum. It should have a very apparent pattern, right? What? It's completely chaotic. It has no pattern. It's chaos. Now, let's look at two double pendulums that are almost exactly the same. Keeping in mind that only the weights are slightly different, we see the pendulums take a completely different path over time. So what can we learn from this? Firstly, small changes to the system can cause huge changes over time. Secondly, it may be important to notice that the pendulums almost took a similar part in the beginning, but over time they change. So how is this related to the weather? The weather is dependent on very simple convectional currents, like the water cycle. However, these are very very difficult to study. So, what's a good way to study these? Water. But seriously, if you've ever heated water in a pan, you've seen the hot water rising and the cold water sinking, creating this familiar loop pattern. Using properties like viscosity, density, rate of convection and the temperature difference, we can create three equations that mimic the behavior of weather cycles. These are called the Lorentz equations and they're a fancy mathematical way of describing what happens to the system over time. On graphing these three equations, we get this wondrous looking curve. It represents the motion of the system over time. This graph is also very very fragile, meaning if I change the variables of the three equations even slightly, it would give me a completely different graph. Also, it's almost impossible to predict where the value of the graph is going to go next, whether it's going to go on the left circle or the right circle. Since in this system, small changes cause huge changes over time and the system is unpredictable, we can come to the conclusion that this system is chaotic and that gives us the answer to our initial question, the butterfly effect is just an exaggerated way of saying that the weather is very unpredictable. So that's why last year's weather predictions are so inaccurate. It's because just like a double pendulum, it's easier to predict in the beginning than to predict it over time. I'm Prithvi and thanks for watching.